Hi, welcome to my topic circuits and networks. I am Rohitnath Malla Joshua and today we are going to deal with an interesting topic called single phase AC circuits and this will treat as class 1. In our future classes we are going to see the applications of AC networks into R load, RL load and RLC load. So before that we need to know some basics. So in this class 1 we are going to learn basics related to AC circuits. So any waveform, it is generally designated by a sine wave like this. Here you can see V is the amplitude, T is the time which is taken on X axis. So these are taken in the radians 0, pi by 2 which indicates it is 90 degrees. Pi, the waveform it comes to the position where it is going to ma match with X axis. Again, it is going to the negative axis and this is how it is repeating. So this I can take in terms of degrees in this way. So it is a general way of sine wave. Here we have taken two cycles from 0 to 2 pi. This is one cycle again from 2 pi to 4 pi. It will be another cycle. So this we treat one cycle we treat as time period t and it is quite equal to the reciprocal of frequency. In general, any alternating quantity that is voltage which is shown here or current is represented by a sinusoidal wave. So number of cycles per second of a sine wave is termed as frequency. The time taken by a sine wave to complete one cycle is defined as time period. So what are the things which we have seen in the graph that we have defined in technical terms. Now here you can look into the sine wave. Let us see how this positive peak and negative peaks are designated. So from 0 to 2 pi, we'll call this as time period t, which is equal to 1 by f, or frequency is reciprocal to t the time period. So this waveform in general we represent as v is equal to vm sin omega t, where v is called as an instantaneous value. Vm is called as the maximum value or the peak value and sin omega t, this omega t sometimes is represented as theta, that value theta is ranging from 0 to t. So generally we will take the amplitudes that is voltage, current, power on y axis and we are going to study the amplitude behavior with respect to time t. So the maximum positive of this particular wave it is taken from this reference to the reference this reference similarly the maximum negative is taken from this reference to this reference, this reference. so overall we'll talk about a sine wave peak to peak value from this point to this point so this is how we try to understand the exact notation of sine wave what we have designated, we have designated V as the instantaneous value, that is the Nandir value. Vm, which is the maximum value, it can be positive Vm or negative Vm. And sine omega t, where omega t ranges from 0 to t. Sometimes omega t is replaced by theta. Okay, so either you can have in radians or you can have in degrees. So this is called as a phase when it is starting from 0 and it is going to terminate some particular point. So technically the phase of sine wave is the time that has elapsed since the quantity has last passed through 0 point of reference. Now when you look at two sine waves, here you can see Va is a sine wave whose value is Va is equal to Vm sine omega t. Then you can see this green colored sine wave, it is acting quite before VA. So let us name that value as BB, where BB is equal to VM sine omega t plus phi. Why omega t plus phi? Because it has started before 0. So that is why it is plus. So how it is designated? VB leads VA by phi. Similarly, we can have 
another waveform representation where you can see an orange wave it is taken as reference whose value is Va is equal to Vm sin omega t and similarly we have taken another blue wave that is Vc which is starting after certain distance of 5 so Vc is equal to Vm sin omega t minus 5 so here we will call Vc as lagging Va by 5. So this is how we can make difference between two phases either in lead combination or in lag combination. So if two waves reach their maximum and zero values at the same time then they are said to be in phase otherwise they are said to be in out of phase. The term phase difference is used to compare the phases of two sine waves. How you define average value of a sine wave? If V is equal to Vm sine omega t, this is how the wave it is. This is for one cycle. So how do you get the value of average? You can get the value of average which is equal to 1 by t integration 0 to t V of t dt. V of t here we can designate it as instantaneous values of the supply voltage. So V of t it is taken here and interval you can see from 0 to t it is traveling. In fact, the positive half when it is equal to negative half, the value of average value will be 0. Why? The positive amplitude when it is starting from 0 to pi and it is ranging from pi to 2 pi, the same consequences on the positive side is going to get terminated from the negative side. So here the value of average value we are going to get 0. And if at all we want to know the average value in particular case, either you have to take on the positive side or on the negative side. So let me take on the positive side. So V average is equal to 1 by t, 0 to t, Vm sine omega t dt. So this is how we have applied the given formula and this is the value of the variable that is instantaneous variable where voltage is given as Vm sine omega t dt. Now when you are going to apply for the first half, the time period will be 0 to pi. So 1 by pi, so 1 by t is equal to 1 by pi, 0 to pi, Vm sin omega t dt. Okay. Now we are going, we can easily remove this constant Vm because Vm is the maximum value. You can remove it outside. So I have taken Vm outside divided by pi and the integration of sin is minus cosine and you have to apply upper limit and lower limit. With this, I am going to get the value of V average is equal to 2 Vm by pi whose technical value will be equivalent to 0 0.637 Vm. So this is how you calculate the average value of a sine wave. Now for the same sine wave, let us calculate the RMS value. In general, it is square root of the mean value of the squared function of the instantaneous value. So this is the instantaneous value V is equal to Vm sin omega t. So mathematically it is given by under root of 1 by 2 pi because 0 to 2 pi is the time period. So 1 by t. 0 to t which is 0 to 2 pi v square t dt. So this is the technical formula for RMS value. So here we are going to substitute the value of instantaneous v that is vm sin omega 2 it becomes vm square sin square omega t dt. Now these are the values as we told vm is the magnitude value and it is a maximum value so it can be taken as outside as a constant. So Vm square by 2 pi I am taken outside and sin square t according to the trigonometry I can replace the formula as 1 minus cos 2 theta or 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 dt. Now you can, have, can apply the integration with respect to dt. I am going to get omega t by 2 for the first half minus sin 2 omega t by 2 times of 2. So this is the general trigonometric formula. So let us apply the upper limit and lower limit value. Clearly, sine of pi, 2 pi, 4 pi, the values goes to 0. So this term, it goes to 0. Whereas you can replace omega t with upper limit as 2 pi and lower limit as 0. When you are going to apply the value of upper limit, this is how you are going to get the answer. Why? This term goes to 0 omega t 2 pi, 2 pi divided by 2, 
2 2 gets cancelled, pi pi gets cancelled, so it is Vn square by 2 and when you are going to remove this root, it becomes Vm by root 2. So this will give you the value as 0 0.707 Vm. So this is how we calculate RLS value for a sine wave. Now once we obtain the sine wave and its average value and RMS value, form factor it is defined as the ratio of RMS value by average value. And just now we got the value of RMS as 0.707 Vm and average value as 0 0.637. The ratio gives you the value as 1.11. And this is the reason why the values of power when you are going to see in your substations, it is rated as 3.3 kV, 2.2 kV or the values are multiplied with form factor in order to obtain the power. This is a very important point. What is a peak factor? Peak factor for a sine wave is defined as the maximum value by the RMS value. Here the maximum value is Vm. The maximum value is Vm for a given wave. And the RMS value we got as 0 0.707. So this will give you the value as 1.414. So the peak factor for sine wave it is 1.44. You can check out the results for half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier and calculate the form factor and peak factor. This I'll give you as an assignment. Please solve them. And if at all you are unable to answer the problems, please comment in the chat box. Please like my channel, subscribe it and press the bell icon for the future notifications as I always tell you for my videos. But this is not the end. Let us go with some other numericals. Estimate the average value and the RMS value for this waveform. You know, you can see that it's a pulse waveform. It is ranging from 0 to Vm. It is trending as constant for 0 to t by 2 and from t by 2 to t it is 0 and again from t to the next interval it is ranging. So for this kind of waveform how you calculate the form factor and peak factor. For that let us go with the average calculation. V average is equal to 1 by t 0 to t Vm dt. Since this value from t by 2 to t the value is 0 that's why I have neglected this value overall I have taken the value as 1 by t because it is ranging from 0 to t now. So this value will be obtaining as 0 0.5 Vm. So this is the value of average. Since it's a constant value simply we will get the value as 0 0.5 Vm. The RMS value again it ranges from 1 by t integral 0 to t by 2 Vm square dt. So this value directly will be obtaining as 0 0.5 707 Vm. You can cross check this answer for yourself. It's a simple problem. And when you are going to be asked to calculate the form factor, the value will be 1.414 and peak factor value will be 1.414. So it's a special case for a pulse on and off conditions. Pulse on, pulse off, pulse on, pulse off. The always the form factor and peak factor remains like this. It's a simple problem. You can cross check mathematically. Let us go with another invention that is this sawtooth kind of wave. This sawtooth kind of wave is having a very important application because we have to go with the slope condition. How to find out slope? We can find out the value of slope with the help of formula y is equal to mx, general mathematics formula, where y is having voltage and x is having t. So the slope will be Vm by t. Let us calculate the average value. So 0 to t. So here the cycle it is repeating from 0 to t, t to 2t and it is keep on rotating. So let us calculate from 0 to t and the same thing will happen from t to 2t and it gets repeated as the wave goes on. So the average value it is substituted like 1 by t 0 to t. As I told you the value of slope is Vm t that is the value of m that is called as slope y is equal to mx m value is vm by t, x is t, t t. Now simply apply the integration for this value. You can take vm outside. So vm and time period t square outside, you have to apply integration to t. So it becomes t square by 2, apply the upper limit and lower limit. You are going to get the value of 
V average is equal to 0 0.5 Vm. Isn't simple? Let us calculate the RMS value. For RMS value, it understood that it is a root mean square of the given waveform. So 1 by t, 0 to t, v square t, dt. So substituting the value 1 by t, 0 to t, vm square by t square. The slopes times square. So the slope is vm by t. So square value will be vm square by t square, where t is the time period here. And you have to take the x axis, x axis having as t. So it is square value, that's why it is t square. So under root of this value will give you the calculation as vm square taken outside t and this capital T becomes t cube and you have t square. So t square integration will be t cube by 3. Substituting the upper value and the lower value of this limit will give you the value of vrms is equal to vm by root 3. vm by root 3 is nothing but 0 0.577 vm. Now once you obtain the value of V average, V RMS, we can calculate form factor, which is equal to RMS value by average value, which is equal to 1.154, and peak factor is equal to maximum value by RMS value, which is equal to 1.733. So, this is how we calculate the RMS values, average values, form factor, and peak factor for any given waveform. So, I suggest you to please ask any doubts regarding waveforms especially calculation of RMS values and average values in my comment box. So here I am going to end with this class 1 of single phase AC circuits. Please do like my channel, share among your friends, subscribe to this and press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you.